Hey there YouTube and welcome to Altcoin Picks. Today we're going to be talking about is crypto dead? Is it dying? The FUD that's been going on, the SEC meeting that happened, tokens that I've been watching, and then one that I had bought a huge amount yesterday that I'm super excited for that I've talked about time and time again. I just want to reiterate how much I love it. So first we have India. So we've had false reports of the Indian government banning crypto trading in the entire market altogether. Telegraph, Cointelegraph spoke with the India's three largest exchanges, which all said that the rumors were nothing more than FUD. Basically what happened is the Ministry of Finance reaffirmed that they intend to ban the usage of crypto in financial crimes and illicit activities, not ban crypto in general. That's an important point that the media seems to forget. They're not banning it in general, just illegal activities, pretty much what everybody else is doing. So what's also important here is the use of cash or any other form of currency is also banned from financial crimes. This seems to be something that bankers, the Wolf of Wall Street, all those individuals seem to forget. Like Bitcoin is the only medium for these people to use to illegally trade. I don't know why they are so obsessed with this, but it seems to be a common theme. So basically the mainstream media over there in India interpreted this statement as a ban on crypto and released premature reports claiming that the government has banned the market, but of course was strongly refuted by India's finance minister. This was the first piece of FUD. Then we have China, of course. They strike again. Basically, they seem to be ready to block all access to crypto trading websites and ICOs by utilizing their infamous great firewall of china so when the first ban occurred crypto trading and icos didn't completely withdraw from china and many people turned to overseas platforms to continue participating trading in crypto of course china is saying that there are risks there fueled by illegal activity and fraud pyramid schemes that they just want to protect their citizens so they want to make it tougher for people to participate in crypto in china this is nothing new here. I don't think any of us actually even care anymore what China says. If they come back, awesome. A lot more new money. If they don't, we already have detached ourselves from you guys. Have fun. So next we have the USA, the SEC meeting. Basically, they wanted to talk about the potential risks and dangers of Bitcoin and ICOs in general. Pretty much, actually, they wanted to talk about the ICO frenzy that's really sparked the meeting. That There have been a lot of scams and unnecessary ICOs taking millions of dollars. And they pretty much want to protect us from these type of companies. So what they're wanting to do is target these companies that are doing ICOs, allowing their token to be sold outside the security rules because their token is supposedly going to be used on their platform eventually. So... I 100% agree with this. I can't stand when we are trading for an idea. I love when there's a prototype or something there to show that these people have been working. There's no reason they should be asking for tens or 20 or hundreds of millions of dollars for an idea. That's ridiculous. That's what makes this marketplace saturated. They need to have some kind of regulation for ICOs. I 100% support this. I'm sure many of you do. They need to have some kind of layout to show they are a legit company. They need legit money. And this is what they're trying to do. I didn't see this at all as FUD. If you watched it, it was actually pretty positive. Senator Mark Warner, who actually earned his fortune being an early investor in the cell phone industry, said he sees the similarities between that industry and cryptocurrencies now. Pretty much he was getting ridiculed the same that we are. <laughs> pretty much the same transformation took place. He's talking about cryptocurrencies have the potential to hit a $20 trillion market value. If that happens, this $300 billion is going to look tiny. And you, this is why I think it's awesome to jump in tokens that have huge long-term potential. Because if this hits $20 trillion, just imagine what Dragon Chain, potentially NEO, what Ethereum, what their market cap will be, what WAN Chain. This is what excites me in three years, four years, five years, what the potential of cryptocurrency could be. With that being said, I want to look at some tokens. So first we have Dragon Chain. 
So I recently bought 5,000 more Dragon Chain. I'm not saying go buy the token. I'm just letting you know of how much I support and love this project. They have such a good hold strategy. They're already releasing ICOs. In my opinion, they're right behind NEO. So there's Ethereum, NEO, and Dragon Chain. The other platforms aren't really doing much. Check them out and, and you'll see what I mean. So in my opinion, yesterday was the perfect time to jump in Dragon Chain, but still, it's only $1.60 today. Of course, it's green. I'm not telling you to go buy. I'm going to watch and see if it comes back and I might buy another 5000 I find that if this coin dips, accumulating more, 20 trillion market cap, Dragon Chain, maybe 10 billion, 20, 30, 50 billion. If this is 50 billion and you have 10,000 Dragon Chain, 1,000 Dragon Chain, you are going to be an extremely happy person. So after that, I wanted to look at Lambda. Let's talk about platforms. So Lambda, I have a friend that was super excited about this one, was telling me to buy. I did not buy. It was around $20 million. I think it actually might have dipped a little bit under that yesterday. Yeah, about $18 million. The reason I didn't buy is right here. Their team is probably the least impressive platform team that I've seen. Now they did release a very informative video, kind of talking trash about Aeon and talking about how their main competitor is Dragon Chain. And I have spoken to the team and they said they are gonna update their website and add the rest of their team members on here. This is something I think they should have done from the beginning and could excite me a lot more once they do this. With that being said, it's still a platform. So this could still hit 200 million mark cap without even doing anything just because it's that valuable. If they're able to release their their protocol, if they're able to release it, especially soon, this one has some huge potential. If it drops, I might jump in. So I was debating this one with credits and I decided I wanna jump into credits because their team seems to be a lot bigger because they actually added their whole team. Um, it seems to be a lot more experienced, their leadership at least. So after that, Blockport, I almost jumped in. This one hit 8 million market cap yesterday. Oh, it's actually today. 8 million. It's almost times two already. This one was 15 million for ICO. It hasn't even caught back up. I should have dollar cost averaged this, but I didn't because I didn't want to trade my Bitcoin to Ethereum and go through this whole sending it to IDEX. I, I was being lazy. Stupid me. It's okay. Blockport, I think, has the potential to easily hit 200 million market cap, possibly 500 million when they release their product. This one's, go check out their website. Beautiful, super needed. It's pretty much a competitor to Coinbase. I'm excited for Blockport. I can't wait till it comes out. If it drops again, I'll probably dollar cost average and just buy more. So with that being said, back to my main point cryptocurrency is not dying it's just dropping we saw the same thing with china hold on to your tokens especially if you're new you haven't got to see this amount of fud but think about it this the next time this happens you'll be ready you'll be able to hopefully sell on the huge gains and be excited to buy back in this will happen again maybe not to this extreme but just write it it's not going anywhere the technology is way too good this is the future be ready to ride this ride. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to smash that like and subscribe button, and I'll see you next time.